Millions of galaxies filled with planets and stars make up our universe. But how did we discover all of these galaxies? How did we calculate the distances within and past our own galaxy? We owe all of our knowledge to the unsung hero of science, American astronomer Henrietta Swan Leavitt. Leavitt was born on July 4, 1968 in Lancaster, Massachusetts. She graduated from Radcliffe College in 1892 with studies in mathematics and astronomy. She then became a permanent staff member in 1902 at the Harvard Observatory. However, Henrietta was never allowed to conduct her own research. Leavitt was grouped with other female staff members as a computer and could only examine and classify photographs of stars taken at the observatory. Her task was to compare the luminosity of various stars. In 1908, Leavitt published her discovery of the period luminosity relationship. This is the correlation between the brightness of a star and how long it takes a star to go from bright to dim. Cephid variables are variable stars used by Leavitt. These stars have periods, a variation that are closely related to their luminosity. This makes these stars very useful in measuring interstellar and intergalactic distances. The time it takes for the stars to brighten or dim determines its distance. This discovery helped astronomers determine how far certain galaxies are from Earth. Just by locating a Cephas star in another galaxy, its distance can be calculated through a mathematical formula. Leavitt's discovery and work had a huge implication on social factors because she was a woman. As we all know, women at the time, even if they were highly educated and talented, weren't respected as an equal to men. They were given a lesser role most of the time, and so when Leavitt first shared to the world her discovery, no one thought much of it. She was overlooked as a woman and wasn't even able to have a status as researcher. Though her discovery has now changed the world as we know it, the discovery sat quietly until she passed away. When she died, Pickerings, an old colleague of hers, showed the world the discovery and didn't give any credit to leave it. She never earned the fame for her own discovery.